Batman Arkham Asylum is not just the best Batman video game ever made, but also one of the best video games I've ever played. The sheer quality and care that has been put into Arkham Asylum shines through the dark night sky, like the famed bat signal, making for an experience that you will never forget. Even people who aren't familiar with comic books readily know exactly who the Cape Crusader is. It's this massive fan base that has for years wondered why game companies were seemingly unable to deliver a quality Batman game. To be fair, there were a few decent Batman games, but more often than not, they either came out disappointing or downright horrible. With the release of Batman Begins and Batman The Dark Knight in theaters, the mass crime fighter saw a resurgence in popularity. This of course meant there was more money to be made, and it was time for a new Batman video game. Developed by Rocksteady Studios and published by Eidos Interactive, along with Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment and DC Comics, Batman Arkham Asylum is not based on any of the movies or animated series, nor is it based directly on any of the comic books. Instead, Arkham Asylum blends elements from all of the above to create its own unique storyline. As the game begins, Batman escorts Joker back to Arkham Asylum. But the Bat is troubled, because catching his clowned arch-rival was far too easy. In fact, Batman notes, He surrendered almost without a fight. I don't like it. With the help of Harley Quinn, who is, by the way, the hottest villainous in any comic book ever, the Joker escapes and locks down the asylum with Batman, Commissioner Gordon, doctors, guards, the warden, and many others trapped inside and stuck on the asylum's island. To make matters worse, because of the recent attack on Gotham's Black Gate prison, many inmates were transferred to Arkham Asylum. The Joker wastes no time in releasing the criminal scum, as well as various supervillains. So now it's solely up to Batman to track down the Joker and return the asylum to some sense of normalcy. Arkham Asylum uses the Unreal Engine and makes good use of it. The graphics are simply jaw-dropping. Every character and background just looks amazing. There are so many small details that make it shine. For example, as the game progresses, you'll notice Batman's suit and cape getting tattered and torn. Arkham Asylum's backgrounds are varied and diverse, from the surrounding islands where you can see Gotham City beckoning in the distance, to the various wards which contain cell blocks, labs, bat caves, and castle-like structures. The use of music is perfect, suiting each area. It definitely nails the Batman feel, but is catchy to the point where you'll find yourself humming certain tunes even when you aren't playing the game. Another thing that makes the game so special is its voice work. Kevin Conroy, who voiced Batman in Batman the Animated Series, reprises his role in the game, as does Mark Hamill as the Joker. From top to bottom, the voice work is outstanding, always sounding natural. It adds a sense of authenticity that no other Batman game has ever had before. Perhaps where Arkham Asylum shines the brightest is its gameplay. Instead of being a straightforward action game, this time around we find elements of Ninja Gaiden and God of War in the combat system called Free Flow Combat, as well as stealth elements from Metal Gear Solid. A majority of the time, you'll be taking on a lot of baddies at once. Thankfully, you have the ability to counter an incoming enemy at any point during a fight. So if a guy attempts to punch you from behind, you can press the counter button and smack him away. Everything is just so fluid and the controls respond instantly. There is never a second of waiting after you press a button. It all happens in perfect real time, just as combat in an action game should. As you do battle, you'll get experience points, which can be used for various upgrades, such as combos and weapons. We don't want to give anything away, but to say that Batman has some awesome weapons and upgrades is an understatement. The stealth elements work well. You'll be crawling through tons of vents in order to get to other areas. But seeing that Arkham Asylum just has a stealth mode is selling it a bit short. That's because there are a variety of small puzzles. Nothing that's over the top ridiculous, but the game will make you think. To help you get through these puzzles is detective mode which gives you a night vision-like sight. You'll be able to see upcoming enemies through walls, as well as information on those enemies, spot closed vents, and see walls that have cracks and can be exploded using a foam-like gel. Arkham Asylum also has its fair share of climbing and platforming, so be sure to bring your grappling hook. This is one of those games that is just a joy to play. 
The graphics are stunning, the sound and music are terrific, and the gameplay is nothing short of perfect. It also has an amazing pacing. So good that you'll never want to put the controller down. It truly puts you into the world of Batman and allows you to become the Dark Knight. It's a world that is engrossing and sucks you in further and further as you play. Batman Arkham Asylum is a game that should not be missed by anyone, and that is why I am proud to give Arkham Asylum a perfect score, a 10 out of 10. Boss wants us here, so we stick here.